Hello there! Welcome back everyone. Today you are joining me on my morning dog walk. Here are the doggies. It's actually a really, really beautiful morning. Even though it's still cold, but it's beautiful and we've got blue sky. So we're happy, the dogs are happy. Piglet's on the lead, which she's not so happy about, but we do not have time to lose her this morning because I am heading to London today. I'm really excited. This video is actually a collaboration with Garnier. Um, they're launching a new set of moisturizers called Moisture Bomb. So to celebrate this, they've asked me to take part in the 24 seven challenge, basically just to pack my day as busy as it possibly can be and see how my skin feels after. So I'm road testing the product today, but I'm also doing some really fun, crazy activities with some other girls. And I'm not gonna say too much more because I think it'll be really fun for you guys just to kind of experience it with me and yeah, see kind of who, who we're coming across throughout the day and what we're doing. So basically the whole point is the new moisturizer is focusing mainly on hydration and how lack of hydration can cause aging, which nobody wants, and also just to your, for your skin to feel and look a bit lacklustre. So the aim is to put the moisturizer to the test by exposing it to as many skin aggressors as possible. And by aggressors, it sounds like a really fancy word, doesn't it? it basically means like pollution, grease, dirt, sweat, all of that not so good stuff. So we're gonna put it to the test today and see how it fares with all of those things. And before I go on my 24 seven adventure, I have to show you these super, super cute little lambs in the field who must be, be good doggies, must be just a few days old. Hey guys. Oh, they're very sweet. Piglet is now protesting because I think she wants to have lamb chops for dinner. Come on, Piglet. <laughs> The mummy would get very cross at you, Piggy Wig. Saying goodbye to this one, have a good week. Saying goodbye to this one too. I love, have a you. Week. love you. So I made it just in time to get a coffee and my train is delayed. <laughs> Only by about five minutes, but we're getting there. I have my absolutely giant suitcase with me as well. So I've just got to the flat and I'm dropping off my giant suitcase. And I've also just got to grab some gym gear because one of the challenges today apparently involves wearing gym gear. So let's hope it's not too embarrassing. That's all I've got to say. So I'm just on my way to meet everyone for the first activity. It's so busy. I'm on the South Bank right now, walking up towards the London Eye. It's such a nice day. I've just arrived by the beautiful River Thames with Sarah Jane. Hey. And you're taking me on a secret adventure. Can you I, tell uh, me any more about this? Okay, so normally I'm always on planes, I'm on trains, in cars, but I thought, you know, why not a rib ride? It's a rib ride experience. London on the River Thames? City. Yes. Oh, so I thought you were coming God. with me. You know what, we're so lucky with the weather today, right? It's really, really nice weather, um, but I still don't want to go in. I don't want to be no, swimming. No, no, no. Even if it's sunshine. <laughs> so let's get on there. Let's do it. I don't think I've ever had a life jacket on before, have you? I think I have, but this is like a little mini version. I'm, not, like, I'm used to like big orange ones. <laughs> I feel like it's a, it's a boob life jacket. It's quite short. <laughs> I think they might have given us the kids ones. It's shrunk in the wash or something. <laughs> a little bit faster than we had to <laughs> I feel a little bit windswept. I think I uh, might need a hairbrush as well. You kind that of was... have kept looking really good though, it works. Really? Whereas me, I'm a bit like... Oh, that was fun. That was really, really fun. <laughs> Invigorating. That was so much fun. I feel a little bit windswept that Sarah Jane was so nice. I had a really good time. I'm now on my way to Chinatown to meet Gizzy Erskine, who is a TV chef. She also has a book as well, if you guys don't know who she is. All about healthy eating and I'm going to be meeting her in a Chinese supermarket to get some ingredients for a recipe she's cooking. I'm really excited to meet her and yeah, see what we can find. So this is Gizzy. Hey! We are going into Chinese supermarket right now. What are we What are we looking for? Well, I need to recipe test something. I'm going to be cooking a, basically it's a duck salad, so we're in the right right place for it. But it's with, um, with loads of really good healthy ingredients and we're going to be using butternut squash, some nuts, um, loads of some pomegranate. It's a really healthy salad. But it's full of flavour. Cool. It's got a dressing which is really easy to throw together. So, and I've never been into a proper Chinese supermarket well, let me in show Chinatown. You. Let's I, do I'm it. pretty much bored up in these. So <laughs> come on, let's. amazing. We're gonna get some tamarind. I'm I love go. tamarind. You do you love so it. Good. I would never know how to cook it though. Okay. Look so at it. It's so weird. Loads of coriander. Massive bunch of coriander. Uh, I'm actually also going to be adding in some Thai basil. We're going to go for lime. Lime. We're going to go for loads of garlic. Um, so we all stink tomorrow. Oh my god, guys, look at this aisle. Oh, Arrowroot. Bamboo fungus. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I'm going to leave Gizzy to pay 
and yeah. test out her recipe now and head off. Thanks for teaching me about so, Asian food. It's be been silly. awesome. I'll send you a picture. Do uh -huh. send me a picture. Nice to meet you. See you later. Bye. Bye. I'm now on my way to a meeting about my app, which I told you guys about a little while ago. It's still top secret, but we're having a really exciting kind of brainstorming meeting now um, over by Oxford Circus. So I'm walking up. I have a five minutes to get there and it's about a 10 minute walk so I'm gonna hot foot it. I just came out of my meeting it went really well I'm so excited to share some of it with you. Very soon I'm now on my way where I've just arrived at the detox kitchen. I've never been in here before I'm really excited because I've heard loads about it and I'm going to be making a juice which you guys know I love juices so they're gonna be showing me one of their recipes. Backstage behind the counter at the detox kitchen this is Jess Hi. and I'm already excited because I can see beetroot which is one of my favorite things ever to put in a juice. We're making the bright and beautiful juice today, which has got beetroot, apple, carrot, and celery. Sounds amazing. Is it pink? Yes. Good stuff. My favorite kind of juice. Officially my new favorite juice. I'm now on my way to a workout. I am here with Bea from Fitness on Toast and we're in Shepherd's Bush, we're in gym gear, and she's dragging me to a rave workout in the day, and I'm terrified. Have you done this before? I haven't, but I'm sure you're going to I think it's going to be fun. Should we go in? Let's do We've got glow sticks as well, guys. I haven't actually broken mine yet, but we're going to be raving, raving it up. I'm terrified. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So we've just finished. I cannot believe you made me do that. It's so embarrassing. It's such good fun. Did you like it? Loved it. How about I, you? I'm glad you pushed me out of my comfort zone. I don't know if I'll be a regular though. Okay. I don't know. But it was fun. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> right, I am now heading off to dinner. I'm now in Brixton with the gorgeous Gareth, who you oh all God. know. And um, we are coming for dinner at the Blues Kitchen, which I haven't been to before, but apparently it is good. So the food is here. I got catfish jambalaya and it looks amazing I'm so ready for this right now Gareth got the juiciest looking burger I've ever seen in my entire life yum so I've just got home after probably the longest day and it's nearly midnight I'm super super tired but I've had the best day it was so much fun a massive thank you to Garnier for organizing it because it was a really really fun day and I've just taken all of my makeup off and slathered my face in moisturizer and it felt so good I think I've really put my skin to the test today with sun wind not rain, it didn't rain, that was good. Pollution, sweat, um, so yeah, and it's feeling really good. I actually just covered my face in the moisturizer and I'll show you um, the actual moisturizers in question because this is what this video is all about. Um, so these are the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm moisturizers and the night cream is the one that I've just used. It's a really unusual texture, it leaves your skin feeling really kind of cooled and smooth. It almost feels a bit like a primer. It's kind of really kind of plumping and then they also have the day cream as well. This has SPF in it too which is something I always look for in daytime moisturizers because it's really important to protect your skin from the sun and obviously really important to keep your skin hydrated as well to prevent aging especially. Another thing I wanted to mention to you guys before I head off to bed is the giveaway that Garnier are doing. Basically they're running a competition to win a really cool prize. actually something I would really personally quite like to win. Um, they're giving away a week's worth of personal concierge from a company called Pink Spaghetti and basically you just get somebody to help you do all of your kind of mundane jobs for you which I would really like it would be really cool so all you need to do to be in with a chance of winning is to tweet them at Garnier UK and use the hashtag moisture bomb and tell them who you would like most doing your chores for the week personally I would say Ed Sheeran or maybe Brad Pitt, who knows? Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. I'm going to Coachella, I'm so excited. And yeah, hope you guys all have a great day. See you soon, bye guys.